Hi everybody, this is Bob from Buckeye Sports Center. I'm excited today to take a look at the 2021 Yamaha 210 FSH Sport. Um, this is a very unique model to the industry. Um, it's a twin engine jet boat, center console. Um, it's a very, very versatile boat. Um, when it, actually, when it was introduced a couple years ago, it actually won boat of the year uh, for the industry, which is really, really cool. So, you know, there's definitely some things that make this unique and different. There's definitely some things that you can kind of benefit from by having the Yamaha jet power in this versus a, you know, an outboard center console. So we're gonna go over some of that. Let's take a look. So the first thing you're th gonna notice in this boat is that we've, we've got a very, very wide profile bow. Um, so that really opens up the bow area for fishing or family use. Uh, but it's a very, very wide bow. It's not a traditional kind of pointy nose bow rider. It almost has like a little bit of a deck boat feel, but you still maintain the nice deep V, comfortable ride of the boat uh, that you're known from Yamaha. And then this particular boat, most of these 210 FSHers are gonna be built and shipped with the aluminum trailer upgrade. So uh, if you do end up using the boat in salt water application or stuff like that, you, you're good to go, or you just have a little bit you know, extra durability with the aluminum trailer versus steel. So this 210 FSH Sport does have a twin engine application. Um, so if you're out fishing, you know, you always have kind of a backup motor, so to speak. A lot of guys like that idea. Um, obviously, they, they work in tandem, they work together. Um, also, Yamaha is known for their patented articulated keel technology with the rudder system. So um, if, you're do, if you are cornering, if you are trolling or doing some, some different things, you can kind of track straighter than a traditional jet boat, which used to slide. Um, also, when you're moving around a dock, this rudder will move. So if you are in neutral, you can actually steer the boat in neutral, unlike older style jet boats or jet skis. Um, so really, really a lot of control with this setup um, and a lot of versatility by having the, the two engines as well. Um, but you know, this is obviously a key feature to Yamaha. So this is where we start to get really unique, you know, as compared to an outboard style boat, which this is gonna compare to. So obviously if you have an outboard, you got a big motor hanging back here, but with the jet propulsion, Yamaha is able to have this kind of two level step up system. This lower level is actually pretty close to the water water level so if you are fishing off the rear deck you have you know easy quick access to the water without you know going over two feet or you know hanging hanging over really far it's, it's really convenient obviously for family use if you're jumping off and doing you know, kids are tubing or um, just jumping off with a raft or something you've got a good access back here you do have a boarding ladder stainless steel heavy duty as well as a stainless steel rub rail around the whole boat um, so you know you'll see a lot of stainless steel on this boat so another feature that's really, really cool and unique to Yamaha is the clean-out ports. So both of these, uh, both engines have a, a separate clean-out port where you can actually, you know, just reach down in there, pop the cord. So if you do get, um, you know, some debris or some seaweed or weeds or something in there, maybe you sucked up a rope by accident, you don't have to climb underneath the boat in order to service that. You can do it all up inside the boat, which is pretty cool. The other thing I also like is you do have two flush out stations. So Yamaha has a fitting here where you can actually just, you know, if you're at home, um, you can just hook it up to a hose, pop that in there and uh, run each engine without actually having the boat in the water. Um, and it's also kind of nice that these are located back here as opposed to inside the boat where you have to open everything up and it's just a lot more convenient just to hook it up from back here. So as we move inside the cockpit area, the 210 FSH, you know, they, they, Yamaha did some really cool things with this new, uh, you know, kind of snap-in flooring that's standard on this boat with this kind of gray teak style, um, you know, as, as well as the base furniture. Um, so that really, really dresses the boat up. I think it makes it look really, really high-end. Um, so this boat really is a really good value, but you know, it has a lot of premium features. You know, the kind of the combing pads down the side, giving you a little extra, you know, lean ability. If you're leaning and fishing and stuff like that, you've got a little bit of protection there um, that's a lot more comfortable. Obviously, you've got rod storage down the side as well. Um, and then the console area, I think they did a great job. Um, you know, it's a really a premium console area. It does have the Yamaha Connect digital screen and gauges there in the center. Um, so you do have all that, those digital properties you're going to find on now all the Yamaha boats. Um, so a little, you know, some engine data and different things, you know, you've got, uh, you know, at the touch of a fingertip right on the screen there. There's also plenty of space either off to the side here, or if you wish, you can mount it up on top where you can uh, do a fish graph or something, you know, to kind of select whatever you like. Um, you know, so again, a well, well uh, set up council area. Other couple features that are unique, again, to this style of boat is the jet wash. So this, this boat does have a wash down and it's controlled, it's RPM controlled based on the motor. So you can actually, um, you know, control that right here. And, you know, as if you rev the RPMs up higher, the, the, uh, the wash down will actually work a little bit better with higher pressure. 
The other cool thing is you do have a, a, a no wake mode. So if you're idling through an area or a cruise assist, so it's an RPM based cruise control. So if you are, you know, trying to troll um, or, you know, if you're pulling a kid behind a tube or something, you can actually kind of lock in the RPMs, um, you know, kind of, you know, kind of a cruise control thing. Um, obviously you've got stereo, compass is part of the standard package on this boat. Um, and then the T-top is also standard. So again, really burly, heavy duty, you know, I'm, I'm shaking it back and forth and it don't move. It's a really, really sturdy top. You've got rod holders built into it. Um, you know, again, good fit and finish on this product. You know, a lot of times, a lot of the, the boats that are out there that I've seen that are maybe lower priced, the T-top is very, very um, flimsy, uh, but this is a real sturdy one. I can pretty much, you know, try to shake it as much as I can. It ain't going anywhere. So again, a good design there. You know, I've got, you know, nice full coverage as far as, uh, you know, top, any, you know, anybody walking around that wants to get out of the weather, out of the sun, you've got good, good coverage as well there too. So as we move into the bow of the 210 FSH Sport, you're gonna notice that this boat is super, super versatile. That's one of the things I really like about it. You know, this is not a pure hardcore fishing boat. So this particular setup, you know, I think by far of any center console I've seen in this size range has one of the better bow areas for family use. So nice bow seating all the way through. Um, you, these, these cushions do remove. So if you want an elevated deck up here, you can just take that off and just it's all a non-skid surface right there so if you are going to fish a particular day you don't want the cushions you're there but you also have good comfortable side pads you know mounted there i'm you know again i'm a taller guy six foot two i can almost stretch out my legs fully here in the bow area or up to four people can sit sideways facing each other up here um, so again a lot of versatility um, you do have an anchor locker storage up there you know, as you board the boat, either on the pad on the middle or on the side, you do have non-skid. Um, bow speakers, cup holders are all in the bow area. Um, you know, again, just good use for, you know, family or fishing, depending on what you want to do. As I move toward the transom of the boat, these features also, we've got these little jump seats that, you know, go in and out. They've got a little backrest um, that you can easily slide in and out. So if I'm going, you know, running down the lake or whatever, you know, this boat's rated for 10 people. And really there's a spot for, you know, you know, probably really close to 10 people just sitting in an actual seat in a center console boat. When you consider the, you know, the four people in the bow, two people right in front of the console, two people on either side of the driver, and then two people on the driver's helm, there's actually a space to sit everybody, you know, on this boat, you know, up to, you know, up to 10 people, which is really cool. Cause a lot of times a center console boat you might be able to sit one in front of the driver, maybe two at the driver's seat, maybe one or two back here and that's it. So, you know, again, a really versatile design set up for family use um, or fishing use. So one of the things that I, I really like about this boat is, you know, in a 21 foot boat, a center console, a lot of times you kind of lack storage, but this boat does not lack storage at all. I'll show you a couple of different, you know, things with rod storage and different, different aspects here. So um, underneath the helm area, you do have a nice large compartment that you can use as a changing room. You can use it to, you know, store rafts or other things, you know, but it's a very, very large, deep, big compartment. Um, again, really versatile in what you can use it toward. You can actually put a head compartment or bathroom to porta potty down there, but it's a really, really big area. Um, so again, excellent job by Yamaha there utilizing that space to the best of their abilities. As we move over to the starboard side, we've got a large compartment here with a little trash receptacle and then a lot of additional storage over there. Um, other thing is always like, you know, whether it's up on the console or up here, there's always little spots to put, you know, you know, if you were fishing, you know, I do see guys who are actually up here on this deck standing, you know, jumping back and forth. And there's, it's, there's enough stability and non-skid if you want to do that. Or if you're just wanting to put, you know, go, you know, cell phones or something just to, you know, on this area here or up on the console, there's a couple of different spots where you can just stuff things. Um, other things down here on the port side storage, a couple little shelves. You know, again, in a large area down under here where you can, uh, you know, store whatever you like. So working off this rear deck is from a fishing perspective is really, really convenient and good compared to an outboard. So, you know, depending on how you want to do it, you know, there's, you know, a lot of people, if they want to sit, you can actually just flip this seat backwards. You know, you've got a, a cooler right down here where you can put, you know, drinks or, you know, some of your bigger catches potentially in a cooler. You also have a live well over here on the uh, starboard side, um, you know, real deep live well, you know, obviously for bait or whatever you want to use that for. 
gas assist shock on that as well. But from a fishing perspective, you can sit back here. You've got, you know, literally three layers of um, different areas to kind of move around on. You know, this particular boat has, uh, it looks like a four rod holders molded into the gunnel on each side. So there's a total of eight of those in addition to the four mounted up on the T-top. You know, so again, plenty of spots to put your rods. Um, you know, you don't have to add those things aftermarket like a lot of boats you do. You know, that was all built in. But again, you know, multi, you know, it's all non-skid back here, so it shouldn't be slippery. Um, you know, really conveniently located, um, you know, transom area just to make it super easy to fish, super easy to get your catch, you know, lean over the boat, you know, all that type of stuff. So it's really, really cool. Um, the other thing I, I like um, as I was moving around this boat, you know, again, heavy duty stainless steel hinges. This is actually your battery storage compartment on this side, um, you know, with your battery switches all located. Again, a good fit and finish on that compartment. Um, you know, obviously with two engines, you've got two batteries. So, you know, good, again, good fit and finish. And then on the other side, you've obviously got your live oil that we saw, and then your actual storage area for your uh, wash down is on the starboard side here. So your wash down is located right there, super easy to get to, wash down the whole boat. Um, you know, cockpit area, whatever you, whatever you like. Um, and then all the, you know, as we mentioned earlier, all of the flooring, the, the beige uh, uh, sea deck style flooring, uh, marine mat style flooring, it all, you know, comes out and it's removable. So if you are fishing a given day, you literally can take all the cushions out, pretty much have hardly any cushions inside the boat, no flooring inside the boat, basically make this a full fiberglass setup. You know, there's plenty of storage for everything and all the storage compartments. So again, really, really versatile depending on what you want to use the boat for. So a couple other things I want to point out. Um, this boat does have a self bailing cockpit, meaning that all the water that gets into the cockpit area will kind of work itself into this drain and it actually drains it outside the boat um, directly as opposed to um, you know, going into the bilge area and then you got to pump your bilge out. So that's pretty cool. As we get into the TR1 HO engines that are in this boat, um, you know, 1049cc, again, twin Yamaha jet engines. Um, you know, they're, they're very economical, they're very quiet. Um, you know, so you get good performance. I mean, this boat is not by any means like a crazy speed demon. You're looking at top speeds probably in the low 40s. Um, you know, but you know, high, um, you know, RPMs go quickly, the boat gets on plane quickly. Again, having two engines, um, you know, you get usually a very, very limited bow rise in the boat when you get up on plane. Um, so really overall, very good performance, very good hole shot. Your zero to 30 speed is very, very good. Um, and uh, you know, overall great efficiency, you know, obviously you know, plenty of power to tube or you know, do some light recreational water sports, but, you know, but, it's, uh, you know, but generally just an overall you know, good economical engine pairing on this boat. Thanks again for taking a look at the 2021 Yamaha 210 FSH Sport with us here at Buckeye Sports Center. Uh, for more information about this boat and all the other boats we have in our inventory, visit BuckeyeSportsCenter.com. Thanks again for watching.